Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to my channel. This is your favorite Divine Light, and today we're going to be looking into the next chapter of your life. Okay, I'm going to jump right into your reading. We're going to start with your cup, then we're going to move on to your saucer. At the end, we're going to pull some cards. I initially want to pull a card, um, a spirit animal card, and set the tone of the reading. By the way, if you're going to enjoy this reading, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy this one. And if you have been watching for a while, we're going up to 60k this month. Subscription is free. Go ahead and hit subscribe and join the beautiful soul community. And that will be a great help. And the giving comes back. We have here the beaver come forth. Beaver is actually a hardworking character here. That's what the representation is. What I see initially, there are two people putting their heads together. It seems like here there's partnership waiting for you. The next chapter is not going to be alone. The partnership, because we have the beaver spirit, which is actually symbolizing um, the hard work that you have been putting into something the hard work can be also the thoughts that you're putting into the things that you do um it is actually going to come back around in a very multiplied way beaver spirit can be uh, two things we have here everything that you're doing from now now on is actually going to multiply and come back to you but in the meantime if you're on the edge of burning out being aware of that as well is very important in the next next chapter of your life i also have here there's partnership showing up and there's a male figure on the bottom here he has like kind of looks like sean connery to me i don't know if you guys can see that uh, this can be like a father figure or maybe a figure uh that you are actually admiring but it seems like here this person this character is actually in a lower position than they you are actually um putting them maybe you're putting this person on a pedestal but i'm not going to say this is a negative personality there's negative things happening here but there is a person here maybe you're seeing as god the creator of all that is but you're going to come to understand that this is a human being you have maybe a soul contract with them and now it's completing it's coming to an end maybe this is someone you had in your life that you don't have anymore or maybe this is someone that you have been feeling uh resentment towards and it seems like they don't really have any space meaning in the negative sense they're the negative energy that you're carrying towards them doesn't really have any space in the next chapter of your life and it seems like there's going to be elimination maybe even conversations happening with this person so you can move on to the new pathway opening in front of you by the way if you would like a private reading from me i'm going to leave a link up here in the description box below you can check those ones out there's a pathway opening here for you you're going to be moving on like the pathway is coming forward new pathway and it is coming to outside of your comfort zone as well you're going to leave that whatever is holding you back behind and i see that you are actually wearing your cloak you have like like a samurai standing here strong you have a star under your feet which indicates that whatever the desire you have in your mind as seeing as like a massive thing you're going to obtain that so easily. It is going to come really easily when you let go of whatever that doesn't serve you anymore. I also see here there's another animal, kind of like a maybe a sea lion, which is another strong uh, characteristic. It seems like you're going to actually embody the spirit of the sea lion, that strength and power and they have. Okay. Another thing is they are actually, um, you know, they live together they don't have like a lone a wolf type of energy they have like community and it seems like here you're even forming some sort of like a community that will support your life journey here i also see kangaroo a kangaroo can be maybe a local animal to you or this can be symbolizing fighting back okay fighting back with what life throws you if you're in a negative circumstances negative things happening for a while you're going to find an outlet you're going to be actually pushing the back here okay but in a positive way i don't feel like this is actually in an aggressive way but in a positive way you're going to uh, you know resettle this situation here Okay, I see there's a chunk of money and there is actually like a source of abundance, actually a spring coming from the bottom of the earth. And there is even like a diamond here. You might be finding a gem in a hidden place um, in the next chapter of your life. You might be discovering a gem and a talent that you have or maybe something that you're brand new learning 
which will be launching you to uh, like a forward in life. You're going to be like maybe in a cannonball thrown into like a, like a better a leaping forward to a new future with this energy, okay? With this new thing that you're going to be discovering. I see that you're catching a massive fish here with that talent you have. Uh, so... If you're being inspired to do something that you don't usually do, it's good to actually follow that inspiration because that can be the leap forward when you when you learn something. This can be cooking. It doesn't have to be something which has like a massive effect. It doesn't have to be coding, programming, like making a, like a video game. It doesn't have to be that. But when you look at the story of the Angry Birds, for example, I think that is like a, that company actually produced many games. None of them worked. And the Angry, Angry Birds actually, now it has a movie, like it has all these toys and stuff, you know, like um, this can be something that maybe you don't really put much um, importance into it. However, it is going to have like a massive effect in your life, it seems like here. Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire and intention, and I see the yin yang here holding in your mind, yin yang can be closing a cycle for sure in the next chapter of your life and i feel like this is like a financial security also coming forward and i see like a governmental figure maybe if you have anything happening with the government or you have like a legal stuff that needs to be taken care of or the patriarchy issues if you have a situation happening with a male character here it seems like they're all going to be coming to resolution i see there's a ring the ring can be commitment so if there maybe there is a person that is not really committing you're wanting a masculine personality and it seems like you're that is also going to this person is you see like somebody's actually taking off their shield taking off whoever that they're putting up front and they're going to be actually releasing that character they're going to be showing you their true colors okay that they are actually uh maybe they have a childlike nature and they're hiding that from you that is going to come to surface as well they're going to be truthful with you i still let it be here kind of looks like 88 as well this can be like 88 and it seems like whatever it is your desire it is coming forward with this person's energy as well this can be something coming slowly but surely this can also be something like involving a conversations and like communications and then the pathway is opening forward after that i see your energy circle is full intact so if you have like the inspiration coming forward i don't see an evil eye or holes gaps in your aura so go ahead and just follow the inspiration because this is like divine guidance here it seems like i see there's actually like the tail wrapping around here there's a pathway opening for you maybe within 12 11 months or days weeks can be weeks it really depends on where you are and this wrapping around the circle it seems like here um this can be moving because i feel like it is going to be affecting your life okay so it can be moving to another place that will give you a lot of security hope or maybe even tangling yourself with someone or a situation that you really want to be a part of your life maybe going to another country that and maybe making friends there that will actually stay stay in your life as soon as i said that nine of cups came forth this can be your desire this can be your um wish fulfillment okay and the country doesn't have to be like if you're living in a big country with states maybe moving into another state can be that your desire too okay nine of cups is your wish is fulfilled whatever is in your heart it is ready to come to you king of swords is your energy your masculine side so whatever that you're desiring make sure that you're approaching the situation rather than emotional but the logical so some calculations might be necessary here and stoic approach is necessary also stoic meaning like logic it, uh, instead of actually like following your impulses going into the things with the logic with the gut feeling and also knowing okay it seems like there's going to be knowing information coming forward when you have that like the information is going to come forth and you're going to grab that if you can't do that in the right way the world card is actually stating you're going to be closing a cycle and next chapter of your life basically is going to have a lot of new beginnings in every field it can be financial spiritual as well as like friendship partnership you're going to have some new beginnings here the moon indicates that yes your intuition 
because we have death on the bottom of the deck, your intuition is actually extremely necessary and the Ten of Pentacles coming forward when it comes to creating long-term stability, financial security. And when the time comes to end certain things that doesn't work for you anymore, doesn't have to be like relationships can be, but also maybe spending habits or maybe the uh, hopes that you have or maybe some projects that you have been running after for a while which didn't really serve your highest good and which does not really have any returns. It seems like your death card is telling you you're intuitively guided even though you don't see the future. And whatever that doesn't serve you anymore because Ten of Pentacles indicates there's going to be like another aspect, another opportunity for you to come in forward with the miracles there you go for you to create this long-term stability and financial security in your life okay i'm gonna pull a card from your divine feminine oracle so who is actually protecting you and guiding you what is the advice of this divine feminine for you divine feminine is actually your creative side your creative energy and if you're feeling blocked if the thoughts and ideas are not coming through can also show us where you are actually feeling that. We have Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. I'm my authentic self in all circumstances. So she's actually suggesting that you're going to get to where you want. Miracles coming forward, but you need to be making sure that you are actually in your uh, authentic energy. Like you're not copying anyone. Inspired, inspiration is a different thing. But this is basically telling you be who you are and be in the places that you who you are is actually loved and appreciated. Okay, and um, I'm going to get to this is actually these are astrological cards. So uh, it's good to ask like a question such as how will I find my new partner in the next chapter of my life? Will I receive money in the future? What sort of career would uh, suit me? Those kind of questions will be answered through these cards in a very good way. So hold that question in your mind and let's see what the answer is going to be for that. Okay, we have Libra coming forth and Libra has a partner here. Like this can be the person coming to your life. Libra energy says, okay, this energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So it seems like here, whatever that your question is, your key answer is on the relationships, okay? So it is not going to be happening by yourself or um, like creating like solidarity. It is going to be happening via partnerships, maybe finding compatible energies or even getting help from people. You don't have to hide from anyone. Um, if you're feeling like um, alone right now, or maybe you're feeling like there's no one that you can trust. You can maybe find a Libra that you can trust. We have the justice scale of the justice here. So you might be also getting maybe like uh, help from the justice things that the, the maybe the institutions that do justice or find diplomatic help. Okay. And um, or people that will actually help you expand to the next level we have here the last quarter moon life is conspiring for me so like you are actually set off to a new a beautiful start and whatever that you are going after with the nine of cups energy the life is ready to actually provide it to you so uh focus on the miracles and coming your way and focus on being your authentic self along this pathway okay right my beautifuls that's all for today hope you enjoy your reading if you do don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these go ahead and subscribe to my channel i wish you all a magical day bye